I am at the Rockwind Community Links here in Hobbs, beautiful Hobbs, New Mexico. This is uh, one of the few little pieces of paradise here, even with all the the uh, noise, construction, and highway. It's a little bit more peaceful out here. So I'm kind of testing this out getting my practice in. So I don't know what that used to be. Like, it, it I, I don't know, It's it says it's um, the National Guard Armory, but it's clearly abandoned. I don't know what they're using it for now. Actually, um, pretty nice out here still. It's like 7:30. Just taking a walk around the, the golf course. There's this little trail that goes around. It's a nice trail, and there's not many people out here. I saw a, a guy get out with his dog. He went the other way. That's the state police office over there. And there's some, um, so uh, there's definitely some history here. Um, I think it's linked to World War II. I'm not really sure. But it used to be a lot more um, buildings and stuff out here. I think there was an, uh, I think this is where the old airfield was, I want to say, uh, further back there. There's a lot of rubble and stuff back there. And I think further out that way, uh, there's some kind of, I don't think it's a prison, it's something else. There's also a campground over there, and just across the street, there is um, a little pond. I think it's a I think it's a man-made lake pond thing. There's lots of ducks over there. So this is what I've been doing every morning, coming out here, getting a little fresh air, a break from work, the work environment. There's really not much else around here without having to drive three or four hours. I just can't, I can't do that right now. So that's the Harry McAdams Park over there with the pond. And that's, there's a memorials park over there. I think I've only um, played golf once in my life. And that was when I was probably 
13, 14, somewhere in there. My my uncle, he's a big golfer, and so he took me out. Was it this golf course? I think it was this golf course, yes. Yes. Because there's another one by the airport. But I think that one's, um, it's not really open to the public, I don't believe. You have to be in a, you have to be in the members club or whatever. This is the entrance to the golf course. They were, uh, they were having tournaments here, I think for Labor Day weekend. There's a lot of people out here. This is really developed. They're really um, putting a lot of work into this golf course. I know a guy um, uh, kind of stopped me the other day who was working on the golf course, and he kind of asked me what I what I'd change on this trail or what I'd add. And there's still some rough parts. There's um, big rocks and stuff that make it harder to run. And always, I mean, trees are always a good thing. <laughs> but even this parking lot up here wasn't here, like, I want to say, three or four months ago. This is all pretty. I don't know if it's real or fake. It looks fake, but... I assume it's real, but... I guess the cactuses or cacti are in bloom now. I'm seeing a lot of fruit on them and stuff. There's the pond over there. bridge for ducks. And that's the parking lot they just put in. Yeah, I mean, I... I I like golf. I don't know if I'd really play it. But I, I can understand like, you know, it's, it's a relaxing sport. It's 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 kind of one of those like if you're watching it on TV, I'd put it on just to fall asleep to it, you know. <laughs> it's not something I'd watch for the fun. But I, I get it, people are attracted to it because it's, it's a relaxing sport. They play it because, you know, it's... You're, you're in the middle of paradise, you know. It's, it's calming. But this was one of the things with golf courses is that they're... They require so much water and resources to maintain all this, especially in a desert environment. I can't imagine, you know, how much uh, they have to pay every day in like water bills and stuff. But it sure is, it sure is pretty. I mean, there's nothing like this in, in Hobbs. A little playground over there. I'm sure this this place is really popular. Um, you know, in fall, winter, spring, the cooler months. 
when you can come out here at any time of the day and have a little picnic. I miss, I miss that. In Michigan, you know, we could, we could go out just about any day of the year and I mean, I, I would go out with my friends and we would just walk for miles and every day after school or whatever. But here you have to kind of stay indoors <laughs> or go out in the early morning and you can't do anything at night because it's still hot. You can't see anything. This is really the only time. And it's about to get really hot, so I don't have much time left before I'm out of here. It's a pretty day. Not windy. Not, not much in the way of clouds. Unfortunately. <sighs> but yeah, um, how nice would it be to like fix a little picnic basket and come out here and All these golf uh, workers are are nice. They're always waving and saying hi to everybody. I wouldn't mind working out here or at a golf course, something like that. I've always thought about um, being like a park ranger or something. That way I can always be somewhere nice, you know? I can work there. I enjoy nature so much. It would be interesting, I don't know. The only thing, the, the only thing with that is that um, you're, I think you're assigned you know, different parks for a, a certain amount of time, especially when you're new, you're going to be assigned to like all the, <laughs> the worst parks and you're going to be sometimes jumping from park to park. So you're always on the move. I think being a, uh, working in a park. We were kind of, so I go to, I, I've, I've been to the Carlsbad Caverns quite a bit and, you know, we were asking the, the park rangers those kinds of questions and, um, you know, a lot of them, um, they do have to kind of learn about the park, especially these, the national parks. We got to learn about them, um, and talk about them. Um, they, so they gave, they, um, that was when they were doing like every night, I guess every morning too, but every night they, there's the bat flight. And so a ranger comes out there and tells everybody about it and, um, uh, answers questions and all that. And then. They give guy, uh, they give tours down into, you know, the the parts of the cavern that aren't as safe. And I took a I took a, a really cool tour the last time I went, where um, they turned off all the lights, and they kind of 
um, you know, uh, asked you, you know, what you felt being so far down in the earth, uh, pitch black, you know, what was going through your head, um, and just how little all of your worries and the world above you mattered when you were like down there with the dark pressing, literally like pressing into you. It's just, it was so thick. It, it was a cool, it was kind of like a spiritual experience where they, they, you know, he kind of asked you these questions that really made you think, you know. I love, I love spelunking. I, I love caverns. I want to go to the one in um, uh, Kentucky. I forget what it's called. There's also one in um, Arizona that's really nice too. I'd love to go to. I'm not sure what this building is. What it's for. Yeah, so it's um it's my day off today. I was planning to go to my parents in Alamogordo, up to Cloudcroft, enjoy myself there a little bit. But they kind of told me because um, they're they're in the process of moving, so um, they have a lot of my stuff there, and they just like, we'll just bring it to you. <laughs> it's like, all right, that's fine. I think that's that's probably better. I've got, I've I've got, so I have a lot of stuff here right now that I I need to work on work on selling uh, so I decided I'll just stay here and work on work on that on my day off I'm gonna work it sucks so. but it's the, it's the only way I'm gonna get this ball rolling so I can I can get out of here and do something else with my life I had a, <laughs> I don't know, I had an hour and a half meeting yesterday, because we're putting in this new system, and oh my god, it's going to be so stressful. So now we're having two meetings a week, one of them, thanks Zadie, <laughs> where we're having on Tuesday at 6 in the morning, because... Because everybody has to be in on this meeting. And we can't open the store without anybody, you know, checking people out. So it's just like 6 in the morning. I mean, I, I'm up at that time, but... <laughs> I, I use that time to kind of get prepared for the day. And now it's just like, ugh. I have to listen to these... All this technical garbage... And then we got another meeting on Wednesday, one to two hours. And, you know, I, I wouldn't be so, like, mad about any of this if I hadn't been doing this. I, I've done this multiple times when we've, we're getting this new system and we got to go through all these meetings. I've done, I've been in so many meetings the past two or three years. Oh, I'm just over it all. And like it 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 makes me so it's it frustrates me so much because most of these meetings are like they they're they're so unhelpful. They I feel like we got we get nowhere in a lot of these meetings like they're just talking about 
stuff that gets us nowhere, you know? Like, we've covered it already, and that's how I'm already feeling with this one, so... <laughs> um, so we, we've done this multiple times over the past three years, and we've gotten screwed out of a lot of money because the system didn't work out. And so we go back to the old system. And now we're back on the old system, getting ready for this new system that's supposed to be the answer to all of our problems. It's what they always tell us. These, um, these little things, I wonder what they are. Because my grandma used to have them out in her backyard. I know they, they like stink. Like they're I don't think they're good to eat or anything. So I always remember playing with them. Hmm. I don't know. So there's a there's a there's a big building back there. Um, I think it's something to do uh, with the prison system or something. And this, this back here, I think, used to be like an airstrip or something. There's a lot of um, rubble and cement pads and stuff out here. But yeah, it's, um, and that's, that's the last thing I want to do when I come out here is complain about work. I don't like complaining in general. I like to stay positive, think happy thoughts, positive thoughts. But anyway, I wish I were somewhere else. doing something else. Really, I just want to be on the road going from point A to point B because it's about the journey. It's not about the destination. That's what I've always stood by. It's always been the, the case in my life. So I've, I've always enjoyed the journey. And the destination um, usually is like the icing on the cake. But when it's over, you, you want to you wanna start back on that journey again, you know? But I do, I do want to like um, go somewhere beautiful. And wake up in that environment, you know? In the mountains, surrounded by trees. I want to wake up in a heaven every day. That might be a lot to ask, but I think uh, it's total, total, totally doable. I mean, traveling is how you do that. There's so many beautiful places I've never seen just here in New Mexico, just here in the Southwest, let alone America. I mean, I haven't even been to the Grand Canyon. 
or you know in Utah I would love to stay in those places for as long as they let me <laughs> hmm. and just relax and take it easy go on hikes have little picnics um, find a nice reading spot that's what I've, I, I've, I've always liked doing 